In this video, we'll be going through a mid-span access for our 864 fiber SST ultra ribbon cable. The tools we'll need for mid-span are our measuring tape uh, for measuring our access length, our utility knife, uh, whether we have a straight blade or a hook blade, uh, this is going to be for cutting our ring cuts, a tool with friction tape, uh, this will allow us to pull our rip cords easily. Uh, we'll also have our side cutters for cutting our GRPs, electrician snips, large coaxial cutters uh, for accessing our central tube, any tools for adjusting our blade settings on the coaxial cutters. Uh, we'll also be using Corning's UAT3 tool, our universal access tool. Uh, this will allow us to access our central tube along with the gauge card for this tool and a permanent marker. To start this mid-span, we've already measured out our access length and we've got it marked with our vinyl tape. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll come to the, one of the ends and we're going to shave a section of the outer sheath. Uh, we're going to shave above our GRPs to where we can get access to our rip cords. Now that we've shaved to get access to our rip cords, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut our rip cords to where we can pull it the length of our mid-span. Now since we've got our rip cords, uh, we're going to grab our screwdriver with friction tape uh, to be able to pull our rip cords down the length of the access. We're going to pull just past our tape mark. Now we're going to do the other side. Now that we've finished with our rip cords, now we're going to do our ring cuts uh, at our access points. So where we pulled our rip cords to, we're going to do our first ring score. Now we're going to move to the other end to get the others. We're also going to make a ring cut in the middle of the shave section so you can separate the outer jacket to pull to the access points. Now we're going to flex the cable at our access point to where we can separate that outer sheath. Okay, now that we've separated, we're just going to pull our cable jacket the length of our access. Once we get to our ring score at the other end, we'll be able to flex it and remove the jacket. We're just going to repeat that for the other side. And if your ring score was not deep enough, you can also use side cutters to remove your cable sheath. Now that we have our outer sheath accessed, we're going to go ahead and cut our rip cords back. Uh, we always recommend leaving at least six inches uh, just to get a hold of if you need to access more cable. Next thing, we're going to cut back our GRPs. These are going to be cut back to length depending on the type of enclosure or the piece of hardware you're going into. For most, about six inches uh, will give you enough to strain relief in any housing or closure. So on our other end, we're going to remove our remaining jacket. Now we're going to cut the other GRPs on the other end. Now that we've removed the outer sheath, well, we need to access our central tube. That's where we're going to use the universal access tool three for this. 
For more information on the UAT-3, uh, you can refer to SRP-004-074. We're also going to use our gauge card to gauge the size of tube. Uh, from this, it is fits in 18 millimeter. So that's going to tell us our blade settings. For this, it will be blade settings J. So we're going to go ahead and set the top and bottom blade. And now I'll go to the end of the tube. We've already marked our access length. So whenever we put it on, we want to make sure that it's touching the bottom corner and top corners. Uh, this will help as we tighten down to help self-center those blades. So once we have it in position, our blades are lined up in the middle of the tool. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. And we're going down to finger tight. So now that I've got it tightened down, I'm going to turn the crank handle to help drive it along the cable. We always recommend going a few inches and then checking your tube to make sure it's not scoring too far through. Or if it is scoring too far and actually cutting through, then we can adjust the blade settings. For here, it looks like I may need a little more. So I'm going to adjust our fine tune blade and continue pulling down the cable. Once we reach our mark, I'm going to pull the blades back uh, by adjusting the course adjustment knob. Uh, this will allow them to be pulled out of the central tube to prevent damage when taking the tool off. So now I'm going to loosen the thumb screw to remove the tool. So now we should have scored our jacket. Uh, what we'll want to do is we're going to slightly flex the tube, uh, a twist will work to help it start that split. So once it starts to split, uh, you'll be able to grab both sides and just pull away from the ribbons and it'll propagate that score between your access points. So now that we have the tube split, we're going to use our coaxial tool. Uh, again, uh, we need to make sure our blade setting is correct on this. We do recommend that you use it on a piece of scrap cable uh, to verify blade depth. We're going to come to our marks and do a ring score. Once we have the score made, we can pull our split pieces to it and remove the central tube. Now we're going to repeat the same process for the other end. Now that we have access to the ribbons, uh, we're going to remove our water blocking tape. So we just use our toco snips to cut it back at the central tube. Making sure we do not cut any of the ribbons. Now our cable has been mid-spanned and ready to go into your hardware or enclosure.